Hello everyone and welcome to another video for the Python tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking over loops. So what are loops exactly? For loops, I'll take the normal example of arrays. Let's consider this, right? So this is your normal array. You know, this is the value one and yeah, this is two, this is three. And then conventionally we have zero, one, two. If you don't understand what is going on here, I recommend you watch the previous video for arrays so let's see so for this we have three sequences for um, all the three values so let's say what i want is to show user all the three values so how exactly would i need to show the user all the three values right so if i wanted to do this normally and normally i would you know say array and then define the array as let's say just let's just put few elements in it one two three right so normally i would have done you know array and then i would shown you the first element for the array right and then the first element not to get you know worried the first element is not one it is actually two because it starts with one right so if i tell the code to do this it would just show me two but i want to show all the possible values now of course there is one solution that you do zero one and then two but this is not how a programmer does this how you would do this is loop why let's say there's an infinite value so would you have infinite lines of code no you would use a loop so the easiest way is you calculate the length of the array call it length for the using the length operator and you say length right length right and then here we would also learn another operator range right another function i'd rather say so what you would do is for i right we don't need to define i for i in range we're just basically saying that for you know for x amount of numbers in this amount of numbers do a certain action don't worry i'll explain in detail so you could put the length here oh i just i should have just you know array oh no length right that's the best way array length right and then I could do starting from I, I could do print array and then I could do I. So what the source read did I just do? So what I just did, let me just go to the bigger view and I can explain. So what I first did was, of course, I first created an array with three values, right? And then I calculated the length. So let's see what would be stored in array length. Array length would have zero, one, Two, right it would have two or let's say just for easy sake it would have three because there are three elements right so what the code would exactly do is it would range for it would check for you know for x amount for x amount in you know till we reach three for do a certain action till we reach three and we start with you know x in hand which is by default zero right so what it would do is it would loop till three right it would say i then i you know i1 for i2 and then i3 but there's a fundamental problem here i always remains same so what we would need to do is we would need to increment i by one right but in this case it is not necessary because in this case we're checking the range and it is not really necessary if we would have the conventional equal to equal to then we would need to add one into i but in this case it is just normal and this program would run perfectly right so let's just review what did we just do let's review it right so this is the program what it really does is it goes to element it for i for all the numbers till we reach you know three it would do you know it would print the first one to do the next one and then to do the next one so what it really does is it loops through all the elements it does the first one then it does the next one then the next one and then the next one and for each iteration this is called iteration or iteration and for each iteration it checks the value in i so let's say i was equals to zero so it would check zero value then i is one it would check the first value then i is two then it would check the third value right this is the complete interaction of how a for loop works now a for loop might be used in a lot of things like it could be used to take password again and again from users 
it could be used in mostly everything in most applications require user to be user to be uploading you know um a certain a certain thing but only for like you know five times we use a for loop but for a while loop you know in some cases in most cases we can use both but for a while loop it will loop till you know until the situation is reached but for a for loop it will always work till it is reached but for a while it will always be working until we reach or until we use break right first of all break and continue can be used in a for or a while loop right so let's just review the while loop so in while we would do the same while i equals to let's say one and we just say we're just creating an infinite loop and we say i equals to one we could do print hello so if you want to ever spam your terminal this is how you do it um it would keep on running this again and again again and again because i is of course one till we say i equals to two and this would save two and i making it so that when it checks the loop again it would be that i is not equals to one and it would not run it or if we do break right so in this case scenario if we want to loop it we would usually say like we want to loop till 15 and we would say i equals to i plus one and in this case we will for each iteration we're checking i and then we need to make sure that um the i is actually more than you know 15 or something and then this way we'll keep on running till you know i is less than the original value and then we'll keep on printing till the 15th value so this is how a while loop work and um, um this is the end of a while loop i guess i can show you like a diagram for a while loop a while loop is usually i have actually never used a while loop mostly i just use for loops and it depends on preference um because it's just easier to manage a for loop in my suggestion and usually it doesn't go into you know rogue and go into thousands of iterations so with the five while loop it keeps on repeating until the value is reached but for a for loop it repeats till the specified value so let's say the user has told me for each element of the array do x operation but for while we would say till you know till there's a certain value reached keep on doing it right it would be for and it would be while right the basic keywords are to remember for and while you need to remember that for for this range or for this case scenario do this right and keep on doing this for while it would just say keep on doing this till something is matched um for and while loops they one of the most tricky ones and later on on this channel we'll be solving some lead codes using them so i hope you stick around for them um and then this is the end for loops uh this was a quick video rather and i'd suggest to do practice and i'll leave a lead code problem below so you can try solving it yourself and i'll also review some of your lead code problems with you guys so this is the end of your python tutorial and we'll be starting with um the next video next time and then all good yeah.